Hello YouTube and welcome to another review of Rishi Shaban Rolling Stock in N-Scale by Carto. This time it's the G443 and the brand new luggage van, which I know an awful lot of us, myself included, have been looking forward to. We're going to start with the locomotive. Yes, I know what I've just angled. We'll, we'll get we'll get back to it later, don't worry. Now, this is mechanically and electrically identical to their previous G443 releases. This is the absolute first time I opened this box. It dropped through my door in a parcel all of two minutes ago. Now, if you already have the UNESCO Glacier Express limited edition train pack that they released a few years ago, then you already have this model. It's, it's the same engine number. If you don't have that train pack, and frankly, it's pretty hard to find and very expensive when you do now this is your chance to get hold of the locomotive from it the real model was the real locomotive rather was painted in these colors in around 2008 i believe to celebrate the granting of unesco world heritage site status to the reti shaban i believe it was the albula line and benina line specifically but the whole network would count. Hence, of course, the stylized Landwasser Vardacht graphic on the side of the locomotive. As I said, mechanically and electrically, it's exactly the same as the previous models. There's a can motor in the center. I'm not taking it apart because I've only just got it and haven't even tested it yet. There's a can motor in the center with a flywheel either end, driving both bogies via carden shafts. One wheel of each bogey, if I can work out which one it is, has a traction tyre fitted. I think it's the ones I've put my finger and thumb, ne thumb next to. Uh, performance is, as you'd expect for a car, so these things will pull the scale length train quite happily up their own, up the viaduct piers and viaduct ramp piers that they offer. Uh, I've managed to stop and start quite happily with the full Glacier Express behind one of the behind. An older version of this. Also in the box, obviously instructions underneath there are. I see if I can shake them out. Come on, there we go. Spare set of standard N-gauge couplings. They now it comes with the close couplings fitted. And having pretty much exhausted the potential. Oh. One other thing that I saw a comment on my, one of my previous videos, uh, DCC. Um, I'm afraid I don't run DCC myself. I have seen, uh, I think it's Digitrax do a replacement printed circuit board to chip these locomotives, which would be very easy to fit. The circuit, you simply take, if you unclip the body, the circuit board unclips, taking with it the, light, the uh, headlights and the contacts to the, to the motor. I would suggest that's probably your best bet. Um, they should at least be DCC friendly. They don't have any sort of socket from the factory, but the motor is isolated. You might, if you were going to do it freestyle, with you'd need some very fine wire and also some insulating tape, or probably best that uh, captain tape stuff, the tran translucent yellowy orange stuff you find inside factory electronics. Moving on to the one I know, as I said, a lot are waiting for, the luggage van. Again, first time I've actually had this in my hands, first time I've opened it. Some brief prototype notes before, well, I left the model to view. The real thing was built in 1980, and again, circa, I think it was somewhere around 2010, was rebuilt with a pantograph to feed overhead overhead power to carriage heating, lighting, and air conditioning systems. Note that it's it it's not a power it's not motorized at all. It's not that sort of power car. This is quite common on a lot of European railways that you will add a you'll have a vehicle with a pantograph on that can feed power to a train while it's waiting for a locomotive to be changed or to arrive. Even it's more common on restaurant cars, so they can preheat the ovens and so on while set one in a siding waiting to be coupled to their train. On these, I believe the idea is that the pantograph supplies 
Pantograph re reduces the load on the locomotives, train supply systems. Essentially, you'll see these coupled between a Glacier Express and the Regional Express, which are sharing a path. They hang the Glacier Express coaches on the back of the Regional Express for part of its journey. It's a way of saving, well, saving money and saving a path, really. The locomotive has no trouble. Note that while the British Bahn have a few of these, they don't all have the same lettering. The British Bahn, as I've said in the past, is a trilingual railway. They use um, they use German, they use Italian, and they use Romanche, which is the local. Well, I say local. It Romanche is to Switzerland, rather as Welsh is to Wales, and uh, Breton is to Brittany. It's the original language of some of the cantons, which is still kept alive to this day. In this case, what it means is, before being tempted to renumber one of these as one of the other examples of the of the type, just check, check that the lettering matches up. I found one other, I can't remember the number offhand, but I found one other that has the same combination of Via Ferretica and Retishaban. Also in the box, if I can shake it out, there we go, a small bag containing standard end couplings and longer gangways. This is if you want to run it with the Glacier Express stock, but you don't have the you don't have those converted to close couple to the close coupling system like these. All of my Ritchie Shaban stock is fitted with these type of couplings because I, I tend to put the train together and then run it rather than shunting, so no problem. I don't think there's a great deal else to cover, uh, other than that these are, so far I'm very impressed with this model. It's a li another little gem for the range. And, as I said, has been one of the missing links. About the only other missing links that I can think of now are a driving trailer, Steuerwagen, and some freight stock. So, if anyone from Carto watches this, Please. <laughs> well, I hope that's been of some use. And if you're contemplating buying these but haven't yet jumped in, I would hope that this will tempt you across. It's actually a very good time at the moment to get into the Qatar Reti Shaban range because apart from these two, they have also re-released the Einheitswagen coach packs. And the, yeah, at the same time as releasing, re -releasing, as releasing these two, they have re-released the Einheitswagen Einz coach packs, which are fairly standard workaday British Japan coaches. Uh, there is also, looking around, good stock of the Allegra rail car and the Benina, the Benina Express coaches with the new logos, which I reviewed in my previous video, and obviously the open observation cars. Uh, if you look a little bit further around, you can still find stock of the Gormino restaurant car with the working interior lighting and a few other odds and ends. Uh, some shops still have stock of the Glacier Express basic pack and the Glacier Express train pack, train set, which both have a G443 and different, different numbers and different livery to this one, so you won't have any duplicates. At the moment, I don't know what they're planning next, but uh, based on these, I can't wait. Goodbye.